Hey folks, I'm here in my bus. I think it's seven or eight o'clock in the morning here in Quartzsite. And um, I'm getting ready to disconnect my bat my house batteries. Um, one or more have gone bad, uh, possibly from the charge controller overcharging. Uh, at one point uh, on Saturday, they got up to over 40 volts uh, through the solar panels. So right now I'm in the process of disconnecting the batteries and finding out uh, which ones are bad. I know that they, I'm pretty sure they're not all bad because I'm, I'm staying above 24 I'm actually staying above 25 volts um, and when I do charge it up full at 28.4 um, within minutes it drops down to 26 point something and then overnight it goes down to 25 uh, mid 25s so I'm having to disconnect the batteries let me turn you around all right so here's my batteries and uh, basically what I'm going to do is just uh, disconnect the furthest set from the inverter over here. So I'll disconnect um, probably that right there and on the other side. And then I have to disconnect the center one that connects them two together because these, these two here are in series. And then once I do that, once I've disconnected that part, I can test both batteries and find out if one of them is the problem. And then hopefully both they're both on the same series, but I doubt they will be. Um, and then once I find the bad one or bad ones, if there's two there, then I remove them. And then I go on to the next one. But uh, uh, I'm hoping it's... it's uh, no more than two because if it's no if it's three then i'm going to be down to two batteries because you uh if i'm going in, i'm going in parallel or uh, going with a 24 volt system so i need only two to be bad so that's where i'm at now and i'll give you an update later hey folks i'm back this is uh uh same day uh, that I did the batteries. Uh, I took them all apart. Um, and uh, none of the batteries tested below uh, 12.87 to 12.74. So the batteries were good. There was no bulges in them uh, from the um, overcharging. So I gave... Uh, Blue Sky call, and they told me uh, this was the reason why I checked this. Um, when I'm charging off a of solar off of a uh, shore power, and it gets to 28.4, I shut the generator off, and it immediately goes back down to 26 or so. And what I found out was that I need to go beyond 28.4. I need to let it. I don't need to go beyond 28.4. I need to let it continue to charge once it hits 28.4 um, so that it gets fully charged because that's it's it's at the absorption rate there it takes a while for it to fully get fully up to 28.4 that's what I found out so now I feel much better about my batteries uh, they're all hooked back up and uh, I'm charging now with my shore power and so once it gets to 28.4 uh, I'll let it continue on for, say, two or three hours. And uh, that should last me through the night. But um, I just wanted to give you an update. And let me show you my charge, or my, uh, uh, con my screen for my uh, inverter. All right, so here's my inverter charging. And it's at 27 right now, 26.8, 27. 
Uh, so I'll just let it, once it hits 20, uh, 28.4, I'll just let it go for a couple more hours or maybe three or four hours. And uh, hopefully that will be uh, fully charged. Uh, if not, I'll work on it again tomorrow. But I just wanted to give you guys an update of uh, what I've been doing all day long. So that's it for this one. Um, I'll let you know in uh, tomorrow or next couple of days how it's doing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, be safe. Take care. Till tomorrow.